this video I'm going to investigate the exactness of the differential equation cosine of x ln y plus x divided by y plus exponent of y multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x is equals to zero. If it is exact, I'll go on and uh, solve uh, that equation. So given that equation there, I'll start by multiplying throughout by dx so that I put it in the form m of xy dx plus n of xy dy equals to zero. So we have a dx here. I'll multiply the whole equation by that dx and we'll obtain cosine of x plus ln of y dx plus x divided by y plus uh, exponent of y multiplied by dy is equals to zero. So if it is now in that form, then I will proceed. And the differential equation, which is of the form m of x, y, dx plus n of x, y, dy is equals to zero, is exact if the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equals to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. So in the equation that we have here, we see that the coefficient of uh, dx there is cosine of x plus ln of y. In the equation here, we have uh, the coefficient of dx is m of xy. So by comparison there, we see that m of xy is equals to cosine of x plus ln of y. Now moving on to the coefficient of dy. And the coefficient of dy here is x divided by y plus exponent of y. And the coefficient of dy here is n of xy. So what we have there is n of xy is equals to x divided by y plus exponent of y. So we now have our m and our n. I will now go on and evaluate the partial derivative of m with respect to y. For the partial derivative of m with respect to y, we are differentiating this one here with respect to y, and we have 1 over y. I differentiated this one here with respect to x so that we obtain the partial derivative of n with respect to x. That partial derivative will be 1 divided by y. So looking at uh, these uh, partial derivatives there, we see that they each have the value 1 divided by y. They are equal. So if they are equal there, we would have that that a given differential equation is exact. So if the differential equation is exact, then we will now go on and try to solve uh, the given equation. The general solution of uh, an exact differential equation is given by f of x, y is equals to c, where f of x, y is obtained by solving the equations partial derivative of f with respect to x is equals to m, partial derivative of f with respect to y is equals to n. So solving those two equations will give us the f of x, y. The c here is an arbitrary constant. So we now try to solve those two equations. We have our m there, is a cosine of x ln y here. So when you put it here, it will give us the partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to cosine of x plus ln y. We have our n here. If we put it here, then we would have partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to x divided by y plus exponent of y. I will then go on and label this equation equation number one. Then label this equation, equation number two. What we are having there on equation number one, we see on the left hand side we are having partial derivative of f with respect to x. When we have a derivative and we need the function, we integrate so that we get the function. So we'll go on and integrate equation one with respect to x. So when we integrate equation one with respect to x, what we'll get there on the left hand side, when you integrate this part here, we will get the f. The cosine of x there, we will get um, sine of x. And the ln of y, we are treating y as if it's a constant. So what we get there is x ln y. We we'll get the constant of integration. This was a partial derivative. So our constant of integration will be a function in terms of y. So what we have there is f of x y is equal to sine of x plus x ln y plus uh, a function h of y where this h of y you are saying is a function of y. I will now go on and label this equation, equation number three. So we now have that equation. We now go on and differentiate this equation three with respect to y, so that we get a partial derivative of f with respect to y. If we differentiate uh, this part here with respect to y, 
we are treating x as if it's a constant so it will be zero. Differentiating this part with respect to y, we are treating x as if it's a constant so what we have there is x divided by y. Differentiating this part with respect to y, we just get an ordinary derivative of h of y with respect to y. So what we have there is the partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to x divided by y plus the derivative of h of y with respect to y. I will then go on and call this equation equation number 4. So we now have those equations 1, 2, 3, and 4. I now go on and compare equation number 2 and equation number 4. So I'm talking about these equations here and this equation here, equation number 4. What we see there is these equations, they have a partial derivative of f with respect to y. Here, partial derivative of f with respect to y. And here, partial derivative of f with respect to y on the left-hand side. So their left-hand sides, they are equal. So their right-hand sides should be equal. So, so we are looking at this part here. Should be equal to this part here. So what we will have there is x divided by y plus exponent of y is equal to x divided by y plus the derivative of h of y with respect to y. So what we can see there, we have this x divided by y on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we also have this x divided by y. So when you put the one which is on the left, put it on the right-hand side, it will be minus, and it will give us a zero there. So we did remain with the derivative of h of y with respect to y is equal to exponent of y. So I will write the derivative of h of y with respect to y is equal to exponent of y. And I will now go on and call this equation, equation number 5. But what we want is we want to obtain the function h of y. When we have a derivative and you want the function, we have to integrate. So we integrate equation number 5 with respect to y to obtain h of y. So when you integrate, on the left-hand side, we will remain with uh, the function h of y. The integral of exponent of y with respect to y gives us exponent of y. Then we would need to add a constant of integration. So we def h of y is equal to exponent of y plus uh, a constant c1, where that c1 they were saying is a real number. I'll now go on and substitute h of y into equation number 3. So this h of y here, we are going to put it into equation number 3 here. On this part, we have this h of y. So when we do that, we would now have uh, this equation number 3 becoming f of xy is equal to sine x plus uh, x ln of y plus exponent of y plus uh, the constant c1. So that's the f that we have. But we know that the general solution of an exact differential equation is given by f of xy is equal to c, where the c is in arbitrary constant. But we have our f of xy here. So we are seeing that uh, the general solution is f of xy is equal to c. So putting the f of xy we have there, we would have sine x plus x ln y plus exponent of y plus c1 is equal to c. So that's what we are having there. But this c1 is just a constant, and this other c is a constant. So we can put that uh, c1 on the right-hand side, and we'll get another constant. So we can rewrite the equation as uh, sine x plus x ln y plus uh, exponent of y is equal to c2, where c2 is a constant we obtain when we subtract c1 from the constant c. So what we are having here, that's the general solution of the given ODE.